What's up guys, in this video we're back in the Weeping Peninsula starting at the Castle Morn Rampart Grace Point. We're going to do a 360 straight away on spawn and ride the tornado upwards to Oridi's Rise. Here we're going to catch two Grace Points, final stop and Grace Point being the Impaler Catacombs at 1 minute 30 seconds. From this grace point we're just going to travel northwest to the guiding gatekeeper of the catacombs, which is going to lead us right there to our destination. Now arriving at Impaler's Catacombs, we're going to do a one run and done. We're going to be facing these little gargoyles right there, there's going to be one crawling up the stairs for you, and one waiting down at the bottom, and we're going to get our first glimpse of the boss door. Now as with most of these catacombs, there's going to be a lever which is going to open this big clunky door, we've just got to find out whereabouts that is. Through this archway on the right we've got a lovely one of these pressure blades. Now pushing you upwards you'll hit your head on some spikes so we've got to take this safety archway over here. All that's going to give you is a flower. So we're going to head back to where we started and actually check out the other direction before coming back here and figuring out what to do. Now there's got to be something more to this room. Somebody tell me in the comments please. Lord knows what's going on here, a couple of messages, but no hidden path from what I could see. We're going to scoot back around to that pressure plate. Now, I did remember we've met these pressure plates before, and they both go up and down. So as we pressure it to go up, we can jump down to a little pool. It's going to lead us to another pathway and a lot of burial skeletons. Now I do have a holy weapon so me taking these out is one and done dust to the wind dog, but for you they will just keep rising so grab the item and just head on through these tunnels you want to find a ladder. Up this ladder we are granted with the lever and a shortcut back to the boss through a little archway. We're down there and we're going to go straight on through to the burial watchdog. Not much advice to give on the burial watchdog, just keep your distance, make space and avoid that driving sword into the ground. Just chip away at him until you've defeated him and we'll get our rewards. Unlike other watchdogs, he did have five little gargoyle minions, so I tried to get them out of the way first. He'd give me a bit of grief, but definitely worth getting them out of the way before focusing on Big Boy.
Watch, Burial Watchdog failed, and the Demi Human Ashes is our reward. A lovely low FP casting with a quantity of 5, great for distractions against certain bosses. Hopefully this video has helped somebody make their way to or through Impaler's Catacombs. Do let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching guys.